Well, two photos that appear to be from this weekend's Browns preseason game are getting a lot of attention online. And sadly, for all the wrong reasons, Isabel Lawrence joins us now to break it all down. Isabel, good afternoon to you. These pictures were certainly not a good look for our city. Yeah, absolutely not, Jay. And we are going to go ahead and show you all at home these photos, but we have chosen to blur out the profanities. So let's go ahead and take a look now. You can see this first photo is of a T-shirt, and the other photo is of a man and boy holding up signs with a vulgar message. Now, both of these images seemingly referencing the controversy surrounding Deshaun Watson's alleged sexual misconduct. A Browns fan I spoke with told me she found humor in the T-shirts, but not the signs. Um, that was really pushing the bar. Um, those women were labeled as something that they are not. Um, and to involve a child in that, that, that was just crossing a line that shouldn't have been crossed. I also spoke with a law professor who told me that according to a precedent set by the Supreme Court, the ability for states to enforce or criminalize offensive speech is limited. Court basically saying that um, language, however vulgar, um, is protected by the First Amendment, even in public spaces. However, we know there are still rules at First Energy Stadium. We reached out to the Browns and were pointed to First Energy Stadium policies, which do prohibit T-shirts, clothing with vulgar and offensive language, and says signs must be, quote, in good taste. And that policy does go on to say, Jay, that if you do have materials that violate those guidelines and you refuse to hand them over, you can be kicked out of the stadium. Yeah, Isabel, we know about those stadium rules, and th they're pretty specific against vulgarity and offensive language in any signs, but those signs were still permitted into the stadium, and I would imagine that by anybody's standard, they were vulgar. H how did the fans get them inside? Yeah, Jay, that's a great question. And I asked the Browns organization exactly that today. I also asked them going forward, what will happen to fans who try to show up to games with materials like this? And I want to go ahead and read you the exact response the Browns gave me. They said, quote, we have a long-standing, diligent process in place, end quote. Jay? Hmm. Okay. Still some questions as to how they got inside. Isabel Lawrence, live from just outside First Energy. Isabel, thanks.